Mm -hmm. As you can see here, I'm doing a corner radius. Uh, flashlight here for the coast. Pretty nice. Lifetime warranty. But yeah. Corner radius. Uh, I removed as much possible silicone as I can to step in some. Um, you can see. Yeah, everything's. This is the tape, let me use that. Yeah. And there is tire inflation light. Everything's good, but I had a new one on it. But yeah, let's go take a look at it. All right, we got him. Take me a look. So, offload him. Oh, take this motherfucker back. Right. Now I gotta mind up. Since this is the bottom, I'm cutting at the top because the damage is at the bottom. So now nah, this is the old one I got over it. I measured it out to be 14 and a half inches. 14 and a half inches, it look like that because it's on top, you know. But yeah, I already got my markings from my grease pencil, as you can see, I got my step overs. Be doing this thing, hold it in the place. So I'm either gonna use the walk, or I might use now. Mine is well. I got to throw some air oil in it.
This is where you measure twice, cut once, comes into play. Now all I gotta do is just tap it up in the slot. Look like she'll fit. Let me just tap it in and I'll get back to you. She's almost there as you can see. Uh, let's go with no rubber. I like the snap on one, but you don't want to dent it out, but you definitely don't want to use your hammer, so might play rubber should do. So we gotta get a little persuasion. Let me see if I get up in there. I had these gloves since the Navy. Is good to go. So now all we have to do is cut the hose in it, go on the inside of it now. And yeah, um, continue. I think get everything you want lined up. See how I got the load block, push it in so both sides are smushed and again, it starts copping right. I'm gonna take the uh, five eighths, make sure it's the right same size. Yep. Basically, I'm gonna just drill like the holes all the way at the top first and put the bolts in them. Make sure to secure both sides. Just can't get to the side because of the roll lock. Uh, I will use my Milwaukee, but it's all over there. So, got this is horrible. It'll be doing a job though. Don't hate on it. All right, so I got carriage head bolts. I ran through it, just gonna suck that middle in. And, well, I'm just bring it up a little closer. So uh, my user impact the uh, ink, 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 ink these tight. Get this out away from it. There you go. Now you got a better look. Here's both of installed. Let's go look at the outside. See how there's no more gap. So now all I gotta do is just. Drill these out, drill those out, put more carriage head bolts in them. And go down there. Yep, take the carriage head bolts, put them up in there. Take our next. Three points of contact, by the way. Fast. I love sitting on a little more for up the Come here to these. Stick it up, yep, put them on there. 
Tighten them up. Then I'm gonna move to the bottom. Once you get all the carriage bolts in, now we just gotta start drilling out. This is a quarter, even the pulse. But just make sure you put that pulse back. Yep. This pulse is gonna go right here. About that post in with that. Probably should have put the carriage bolts on the top, but yeah, we'll work on that afterwards. So let me go ahead and start by drilling all of these holes up. This is a quarter. Afterwards, you go ahead and remove the load lock after you get all your. That's gonna go flush once I start bucking that in. All the way down. Let me remove this stuff. Oh. Well, yeah. I'm gonna quarter it all the way up. You can see how it barred it basically lined up with the silicone line. So yeah, that corner of this is down there. Installed, we just gotta buck everything in there. Put the tire inflation light back where it go. And you just step up there for that. So I got a quarter. You can see, it's a quarter, it goes right in the hole. Uh, I was gonna use my robo, but even though it's a one plus, one plus, it does a job. For certain stuff, but if I'm just going to try to get as many holes knocked out, I gotta do that side and I gotta go down this side. So the fuel brushless, it pretty goes through. Like, you know, honestly, you gotta come out. Cause I don't see anything on it yet. These gotta come out. We gotta be right back. We knocked those off. Got the Matco air hammer. 600 bucks, you know, it does its job. Interchangeable heads. This is not the heads that go to it, but they will fit. Does this head say my actual head? No, oh, it's in there. Purpose of a teardown hammer. Now I'm gonna take my drill. I can drill Get those three installed. I went on ahead and added the post at the top already, so I made sure all the hose lined up. So to keep them lined up, I ended up using these. They're basically the same on this side too. So take one of these, put it in the hole, keep it lined up for me. So I have to push. Up. I'm gonna drill this hole all the way through. It looks like basically I'm just gonna take these, drill, make sure they're all perfectly lined up. About right there. Then I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to put the nut through. Go on the other side, tighten it down. That's just going to hold it in place. So, yeah, these are set screws I put in there just to hold it while I drill the actual hole. So, yeah, as you can see, it was nothing at the beginning, now it's something. Now just wait. It's going to look good. But, Oh yeah. So let's get to it. Start the drilling.
So, drilled in all the holes. I just gotta buck and rip it all over. As you can see, all the holes are perfectly straight. So now it's bucket. After I bucket, that's really it. I did not cock it. Stay tuned. So now, ready. So rivets on this side, we're using a quarter by five eighths. So that goes D times L, which is the diameter times the length. So the diameter is a quarter and the length is five eighths. On this side, we have the post that we installed on the opposite side. So these gotta be a little bit longer. So these are gonna be a quarter times three fourths. Diameter times length, because the post is longer. Uh, we have about 70 different sizes of these, but once you figure them out, they actually, and we're using uh, the full braze. So, yeah. I just go get a uh, co worker to help me buck them. If this is a job that you need to do because somebody has to hammer it and somebody has to take a buck bar and hold it on the side. After that, we will see the finished product. See some? As you can see, everything looks bucked. But, put a hole right there in the middle of it. For the inflation light. Gotta drill that so three and a quarter on three quarter on got it. Uh oh, it makes sure it looks up more. So stick this end up in there. Put the other end up in there. Boom. Now let me go on the inside and connect them. And that's it. After that, I'll be silicone the whole thing. Silicone both sides all the way down, bottom and the top underneath. So do silicone, silicone all the way down, then that side too. And that's it. That's all you do to your corner radius. Like, comment, subscribe for more trailer experience. Gotta get some paper for this, throw it up in there.